What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about uh, problem 1.18 of Files and Cassidy, 7th edition. The problem reads, a buzzing fly moves in a helical path given by the equation R, which is a function of time, equals I hat B sine omega T plus J hat B cosine omega T plus K C T squared. Show that the magnitude of the acceleration of the fly is constant, provided B, omega, and C are constant. So we already know that the acceleration is determined by taking the second derivative of the position vector R with respect to time. Okay, so before that, let's first calculate the velocity function, which is the first derivative of your, uh, of your position with respect to time. And after this, we're going to use this to get the acceleration function by differentiating the velocity function again. Okay, so let's do this. So the velocity will now be equal to uh, b omega cosine omega t i hat minus b omega sine omega t j hat plus 2 c t k hat. Therefore, the acceleration will be the derivative of the velocity function with respect to time. And this gives us negative b omega squared sine omega t i hat minus b omega squared cosine omega t j hat plus 2c k hat. Okay, so this is now the acceleration. So therefore, the magnitude of the acceleration will just be the dot product of your acceleration by it, with itself. So this is now equal to, sorry, this, this should be the square. Yeah. So this means that the acceleration will now be equal to the square root of, uh, the square root of dx, y, and z component of your acceleration vector. So this becomes b squared omega to the fourth sine squared omega t plus b squared omega to the fourth cosine squared omega t plus four c squared. Okay, then you can just simplify this. So this is square root of, so this is b squared omega to the fourth times sine squared omega t plus cosine squared omega t plus 4 c squared. This is equal to 1. So therefore, the acceleration is simply the square root of b squared omega to the fourth plus 4c squared. And you know that this is a constant because b omega and c are all constant. Okay, so that's it. That's problem 1.18 of Fouls and Cassidy. So I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.